Scientists at Google DeepMind use the type of AI to find new answers to old questions about how fluids like water or air move around. So many breakthroughs come from DeepMind and everybody keeps talking about ChatGPT. These questions come from math equations from hundreds of years ago, such as Euler and Navier-Stokes equations, which explain fluid flow but are really hard to solve, especially in three dimensions. The team looked at what's called singularities, which are spots where things like speed or pressure in fluids get too big to measure, showing limits in these equations. They basically use a tool called Physics Informed Neural Network, or PINNs, that learn by sticking to real physics rules and fixing small errors to get super accurate results, like guessing the Earth's radius within a few centimeters. It's crazy. In tests, the AI found new kinds of unstable singularities in basically three fluid equations, including one for flow through porous materials and another for heat-driven convection. They noticed a pattern, a number called lambda, which measures how fast the singularity grows, falls in a straight line when plotted against instability levels. The work includes basically graphs and 3D images showing swirling fluid patterns and how these singularities change. This method might help AI tackle other hard problems in math, physics, and engineering that need very precise solutions. So next time you hear about Google DeepMind, think about that. A lot of breakthroughs come from that, and ChatGPT is more of like a consumer product that's targeted for us to ask questions and get solutions and maybe even create um, social media slop or something like that. Really impressive, Google. I'm really proud of you.